Uh, where's my constitution? Oh, hell yeah. You know what? Those One are... bean? It was kind of just like, a uh, when you had those little flavor crystals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This that is so, that so bad, your bunk beans. Yeah, I like it. Miriam looks like. <laughs> First the rat. I'm actually horrified that you just took yeah. a can of baked beans. I try, to, one. I, I try to smooth, uh, smooth it over with a friendly wink, but not one that's, you know, like, trying to shove in on my best friend's territory. It's just like a, hey, I'm just kidding around, you know? For the, for the confused feelings, uh, make a disadvantage persuasion check. <laughs> oh, persuasion, okay. Okay, 23 is pretty good, uh, but it's with disadvantage. That's eh, still all right. Still okay. She, she kind of just like shakes her head like, like oh. um, and uh, when Eric comes back with uh, he's got a name tag, so he knows his name. Um, <laughs> with this drink, Good. he kind of slams it in front of Elliot, and you see Elliot like takes a big gulp of it, and then kind of turns around and kind of spins around on the stool, kind of looking out. Oh. And uh, Miriam also asks for a, a glass of juice. Apple juice? Nah, wine punch. Oh, okay, I thought you said apple juice, and I was like, oh. No, that's not an option. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Wait till we enlighten them. We'll have to go back to Walmart to get juice boxes. Uh, I'm gonna tiredly walk up to the closest chick. Just very childlikely, just like, tug on her clothes a little. <laughs> just trying to get her attention. <laughs> she kind of she turns around and she says... <laughs> Well, hello there. Hello, oh, miss. Can I help you? She kind of yeah. jumps to herself. Yeah, he like rubs his eyes. We're trying to get a place to sleep. The guy's not. He just wants to sell us drinks. To who do we? Do you know who we talk to? She kind of furrows her brow and she says, "I'm so sorry. We don't have any rooms here. This isn't a hotel." I don't have any rooms. I thought it was a. Oh man. She says, We are open 24 7. If you don't have a place to stay, you can stay in here. Like on the floor? She kind of shrugs. That's better than nothing. She says, Where are you from? Are you lost? I'm from. New York, I guess. Uh, she kind of raises her eyebrow. She goes, New York? She uh -huh. turns to the other girls, uh, who kind of look at you excitedly, and uh, she kind of like scoots this chair closer to her uh, and kind of gestures to it. Okay. What's going through Miriam's face right now? I sit at the table. Worry. <laughs> there's, Worry. There, there, there's a little bit more going on, but it's mainly just her. Basically, as Julia just sits down with these three strange women. Um, <laughs> Who are well into their twenties, like? Yeah, Julian ain't got a chance. <laughs> Do you think that will stop the bard? <laughs> uh, I'll says, take you all on, it's damn it! Like in New York. There's a lot of skeletons. Let's sit down at the table. <laughs> Not mean skeletons. Don't know who put them there. They don't nice cars though. They break down a lot. Uh, Why are you, you guys see up that so this late? Woman, uh, says, "I'd hate it in New York. It's too loud and noisy." It's busy. pretty loud. Pretty loud, and noisy. And she she kind of notices how like tired you are and kind of gives you like, shoots you a weird look, like as if blaming you for being tired. <laughs> Like an accusatory look. Um, He's just like staring at the old, table uh, in front of him. Says, my name is Mirabel, and these are my two friends, uh, Alexa and Sorvia. You guys kind of sound like my friends. I got a friend named Miriam, Alicia, and Elliot. <laughs> at this point, Yodel might actually turn into this looking like a that dog. dog. Yeah, he just dog. turns into a green version of that dog. I am dog, now dog. You're confusing like, the poor dog. I, 
I, I am have now the done. ultimate power. But, but then I he smiles and like, kind of taps his chest. He's like, and I'm Julian. Julian? Mm-hmm. She says, um... Well, Julian, welcome to Brovia. Thank you. I think we're really um, lost, and apparently the devil's here. The devil? Yeah, it stole a <laughs> child. She chuckles. She says, have you been talking to the locals? <laughs> he kind of like, just now looks up at them. <laughs> this is like, Kind of am right now. Uh, she shakes her head and uh, she says, "We're not technically from around here. We're Vistani." Where are they from? <laughs> All over. And she kind of like looks around to the other two, like as if that's an inside joke they should get, and they kind of start chuckling to themselves. Gail, I'd Detroit. like to make a perception check. Gale's from, like, space or something. He's pretty cool. You hear the word Vistani, and you recognize that word. Oh, boy. You've read about them? Vistani are planar gypsies, essentially. Oh. They go back a long way through history, and they're essentially, like, these weird travelers who can move in between, uh, like, the five planes. And they're often referred to in literature as being like troublemakers or mischievous kind of characters. Oh boy, that's painful. Something that we're not around. Right now. Oh, man. This seems like it's a bit more complicated. Bill mutters to himself all the time. Don't worry about him. <laughs> she kind of smiles at you, um, and she says. Well, don't let any of that devil talk bother you. There's a bit of a unpopular opinion of the current uh, governor. Uh, who's who's that? The, the the police work for him? We heard about the mayor. No, not not the mayor. The governor, uh, Strahd. Okay. People don't like him. People have been a bit hussy since the election. Um. Most people don't take kindly to him. What do you do? And you see, this woman kind of like rolls her eyes as she says that. Can um, I? Can we hear this like from over yeah, here? Yeah, there's not a lot of noise going on. It'd be weird if you like just interjected in the conversation, but you can hear everything being. Said. Okay. Now, knowing uh, U.S. history, do I remember any governors of Oregon named Strahd? Make a history check. Okay. Kale eats Twinkie. Oh. oh, we lost slime. He's yeah, fucking I'll, dead, man. I'll be back. Don't worry. He's fucking dead. You gotta I'll keep the stream up. Game over, it's man. Just my thing restarted. Hold on. Game over. Ooh, with a 23? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a governor named Strahd. Mm. But you do remember, like, just lightning strikes in your brain as you remember the name Strahd. Uh, there was a governor named Governor Baden. Um, and you know, he had a son named Strahd because Strahd was a general. Oh. In the U.S. military during the War of Awakening. Uh, oh. you, you remember some story about invaders trying to come into the U.S. from the West Coast? And he kind of, like, held the line in some random American town. Huh. So Strahd's kind of, like, a big deal, but that was, like, 60 years ago. Nice. Well, can I just point out, like, there's just very subtle shadow in here. It and bothers me. Gale's, it bothers me. With, Gale, with Gale standing here, it just covers his eyes like that sort of... He's menacing. Against moody look. Yeah, menacing. Yeah, he's, it's, it's like the, the, the JoJo's, like... Yeah. <laughs> I, I, uh... <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Did Strahd do anything to make people angry? What did he do? Well, I mean, all politicians do a lot of things. 
I do a lot of things. Um, and then this one says, uh, I'll say... Strahd's a bit of a madman when it comes to the people. He does a lot of things that cross a lot of people's minds. Um, now, Outside of just policy. Remembering what I know about this man, uh, I, uh, for the first time ever, because I have this ability, uh, I, I use Awakened Mind uh, to communicate everything I know about Strahd to Julian. Oh, he, he's like eyes wide and he's like uploaded to the Matrix. <laughs> Dante, your eyes flash yellow for a little bit. And uh, there's sort of like this like slight like momentary burn on your forehead. And then Julian, there's a slight momentary burn on your forehead as you kind of just hear in Dante's voice him telling you all these things about <laughs> He's a skinny bastard, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's the skinny... Huh. And he's still a governor? Must be old. Oh, he's not old at all. Oh. Um, you hear, uh, <clears throat> Mirabelle says he's not old at all, and you see Alexa kind of like slaps her shoulder. Um, and says, that's no way to talk, and then kind of oh, looks nah. over at you. I don't need to get uh, violent. Says, He's been in office for a while. Um, but no, he's about in like his uh, 30s or 40s. What? Which Dante, you know, is not true. He was about I... in his 30s or 40s, like 60. Yeah, yeah. Like, I give like a confused look over at Dante, like. So what? he's more like friggin' 110. <laughs> he then look back at them. <laughs> Um, uh -huh. and you see, uh, Mirabelle says, and one thing that's kind of on people's mind is, uh, he's got, he's got a crush on one of the girls here in town. <gasps> is it you? I look at Sylvia. She kinda, like, puts her hands kind of like on her, uh, drink. He says, and you didn't hear it from me, but, uh, he stops into town every now and again to see her. What? Is that legal? Uh, she kind of shrugs and says, I mean, when you're the governor, what isn't? She kind of takes a sip. So am I also getting like a 20s kind of vibe from this establishment? Like, Definitely from the music being played right now. That's a kind of a weird notion. Um, this place is old tavern, uh, old style, like old fashioned. But you feel like that's intentional. Okay. You feel like it'd be if a place you walked into, like, nowadays had, like, completely wooden everything and was, like, serving out of, like, these big tankards and mugs and, like, was candle lit. I'd think that's just, like, the shtick. Yeah. Yeah. The theme. It, it, is, it is somewhat strange. It's kind of like a, like a mixing of the time periods, because it's candle lit, but there's also electric lights. Okay. And there's, like, a, there's, like, a 20s-style jukebox playing, like, really old music. But also, like, you can see all these women have smartphones. Huh. And then also, there's like uh, a Victorian Dante, make a perception type. check. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, I'm piecing it together, boys. This guy, Eric, uh -huh. he is cleaning glasses this entire time. And you see he goes down the line of the bar, and when he, whenever he finishes cleaning all of them, he goes back and just starts over. And he just stares blankly forward the entire time. Nice. Epic. Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. He's pinging the thing, Edry? Not me. It's meant to be a dog. It's meant to be a dog. I, I can't draw that well. Oh, like Someone him. added a bit more of a tail, oh, but. I like him. Did you turn into a dog? Yeah, I said I turned into the dog while sitting next to the dog. Then I drew a dog. No, I was gonna, I guess, okay, it doesn't matter. No, I like it. I mean, I, you can do the actual <laughs> form, because I ain't that best nah. of an artist. Well, no, no, if you do that, if you do that, you can't see it. Yeah. I can't see. That's, that's the problem. That's, that's your doll. 
We just drag this yellow off the map. Wait, no, that still blinds me, doesn't it? I can't just reply to Awaken Mind, can I? No, you, you can. can. I, I can? Yeah, yeah. I communicate. Yeah, yeah. I mentally shrug. And I offer the <laughs> olive branch that he might be like. I didn't like, say you could do emojis. Uh, well, yeah. I, I, I do it. I, I do it despite. I, I, I say he could be like a half elf or something, pretending to be a human. You know, elves live for fucking. Uh, ever. There definitely are creatures like elves are a thing in this world. Like you uh, know, there are creatures that live beyond the hundred. Dante, you know, Strahd is a human. Mm -hmm. I tell him that. Well, who's the lucky lady? I haven't seen anyone else in town. Sorry, what'd you say? I, I look at them and like, so who's the lucky lady? So I haven't seen anyone else in town. Um, you see, Mirabel kind of looks down, kind of sad, and uh, you see, Sorvia leans forward and says, "It's the old mayor's stepdaughter." Old mayor? The old mayor. Is he old? He's dead. Oh! That's all good. Did the devil As kill him? Fuck. The previous mayor? The late mayor? Makes sense? Yeah, yeah. I thought uh, you meant, like, Irina. white hair. Not my white hair. But... Irina? By the way, uh, Mirabel says, By the way, I do like the hair. She kind of strokes through your, like... <laughs> Thanks. I was stressed. Yes, yeah, stress-ridden white hair. <laughs> kind of happened when I lost my um, arm. Kind of raised my non-existent nubbin. I mean, I guess the girl's pretty, but... Uh, I don't know if I exactly understand the, the affection. Oh, I, re I thought you were talking about me. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a dude. Yeah, I'm 100% guy. No, nah, she's not talking about you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. never mind. Never mind. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> So, uh, I kind of glance past Alexa. Who's, uh, who's all shady over there? Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot he existed. And you see, you say that, and they all kind of look over as he gets up from his seat and kind of walks over to the bar. Uh, act natural. Um, yeah, they all kind of, like, instinctively, like, look back. Um, We're and then Alexa recently? says... He is the warden for the Barovian police force. Oh! He's Antonio Brooks, he's the mayor's brother. Wait, Drake's? Drake Brooks? She nods. Drake's dead? <laughs> she kind of shakes and she kind of does like a, like a no motion with both of her hands kind of waving across her neck. She says, the old mayor is Mayor Kolyana. He's dead. Okay, Drake's the new one. Drake Brooks is the new mayor. Okay. He's been mayor for about four years now. So the old one died four years ago? Holy moly. She shakes her head. She says, no, he was alive a little bit ago. I'm a very tired. <laughs> How'd he die? Was That's he just old? Right. She says, um, actually, uh, Dante. Yeah. This man kind of walks over to you and Elliot. Hmm. Uh, and he says to the bartender, uh, whiskey. Oh, you're going to get busted. And you see, uh, the bartender goes back over, brings him a glass. And you see, he kind of, uh, switches it in his hand. And then he looks over to uh, Elliot and Dante. And he says, Are you uh, new in town? Yeah. Just got in, uh, what, like an hour ago? Uh, it'd be about two hours now. It's like almost three in the morning for uh, <laughs> all you. Nice. <laughs> Is that. <laughs> Are you licking at him? <laughs> like. No, Poison. that's not my drawing, that? that's someone else's. <laughs> that's someone else's! Is he being licked? Oh. No. <laughs> like, I know you're a dog right sure. now, but that's, uh... 
He's sniffing him, not licking him. He says, he says to and you, Dante, he says, My name is Antonio Brooks. I am the brother of the mayor. Oh, I didn't mean to move you. Sorry. Oh. He says, <laughs> The mayor makes a uh, fascination with uh, meeting with each new person who comes into Barovia. Hmm. If you'd like, I can schedule a meeting with the two of you. I guess it couldn't hurt. Consider this a formal invitation. Okay. Hey, Julian. Yep, yeah, Dante. That's my hey, best friend, Dante. You, you understand. And get up. <laughs> uh, Alexa says, uh, he's handsome. He's very pretty, oh. yes. Uh, <laughs> and Mirabel says, well, we won't keep you, but if you ever need a drink, she kind of gives you like a, like a firm pat on the shoulder. I give a tired smile and chugged over. Hey, Dante. Hey, Mary Paliot. Hey, just talk to this guy over there. Antonio. He, he interrupts you. I wave. And says, Any visitors who come to Barovia are invited to the mayor's mansion to meet him. If you'd like, I may escort you. Like now? He nods. Does he have beds? He kind of looks at you, kind of like narrows his eyes, and says, Yes, he does have guest rooms. <gasps> Is he mean? Is he mean? He kind of glares at you, Julian, and says, I don't understand the question. Uh, Julian, without an inside check, you can tell he definitely understands the question. <laughs> I, I look at Dante. Uh, I mean, I don't know what you want me to do about it, pal. I'm, I just work here. I mean, no, you don't. <laughs> you want to go meet the mayor? I mean, I'm down. He's sleeping on the floor of a bar. Yeah. Miriam kind of nods at that. Yeah, it definitely does. At least I'll probably wake up with both of my kidneys tomorrow. Just to make sure this is the new mayor, right? Not the old one? Because the old one's dead. Don't want to meet him. He chuckles at that, and like his chuckle becomes like a laugh. Like a three or four second like laugh. And he says, Ha ha! Yes! This is the he new mayor. Gets the old mayor is dead. Yeah. He gets it. Antonio gets it. I don't think Antonio is a good fuck. How did he die again? The old man? Yeah. Died of fright. Fright. Whoever's drawing white spots on my little drawing, fuck off, please. Because if someone tries to remove those and not like Michael, he will delete the whole thing. So. Understood. You could die from being scared. Heart attack, yeah? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. It's 3 ah. a.m. Then we best get going. Mm hmm. Eric! You see, Eric does not look at him in the eye. It just kind of like just blankly stares forward. Just put it on my dab. And you see, he kind of just knocks over one of the glasses <laughs> uh, and then just goes to stride out of the room. Uh huh? And he just kind of calls do? back to Dante. He says, collect your friends. All right, gang. We are leaving. All right. Oh, hey, doggy. <laughs> I pet the There's visible really dog. green dog. <laughs> yeah, I pet the just green dog. a green dog out of nowhere. You got it all missing. <laughs> I pick him up. Cool. The door. Pick up, pooch. Pick up dog. Dog. <laughs> Elliot just um. kind of sighs, gets out of his chair, grabs the door, <laughs> and walks back. I, no, fuck it, it's a win. <laughs> you're getting carried. Yeah, I'm are getting you, like, carried. Are you like a baby, or you're like just hoisting him like a? Though, the, yeah, the way you host, you hoist uh, uh, a dog, a, a big ass dog. Into the belly. Yeah, I like. Yeah. I didn't know if you were cradling him or like holding like a pot over your head, like. <laughs> like Zelda, just 
No, let me let me find like a funny picture of like a kid Ooh. picking up a dog. <laughs> uh, as we're leaving, I kind of like sidle up to Mirabelle, like close, and I want to like seem like a very defenseless child and tap into their maternal instincts to protect children. And I'm like, can we trust them? And the puppy dog eyes are... Um... Mm. That's kind of a funny one. She kind of turns to you and she whispers, Um... Do you trust me? Should I? Run. She she shakes her head. <gasps> and she says, But do you anyways? Accent change. <laughs> I squint and I nod. She says, The mayor works for the governor. And the governor wants what's best for everyone. And that includes you. She kind of boops your nose. Inside her. Yeah, I was gonna say, probably should roll an insight on that. 100% oh, true. No. Julian, this woman's really pretty. She's like real close to you. Kind of <laughs> gave you like a little boop. It was a boop. And you're a little too tired to process anything else except that. Yeah, he probably, he probably forgot what he said, like, straight away. It's like 3 a.m. Been a weird day. I start ushering Julian towards the door. <laughs> I, I, I use... <laughs> I use dog. I use dog. <laughs> It be doggle instead of yaddle. Doggle. Doggle, yeah. Oh. I attack. I attack with dog. Dog attacks back. Boop him with my snout. Snoot doot. Snoot doot. As soon as we get out, I like straighten up a little and I look at Dante. Oops. And I'm like, "What's going on, man?" Uh. Well, I mean, we're we're gonna go sleep. Yeah, but like Strahd, he's like something's up, man. Eighty. Something's not right. U.S. law isn't in effect. There's some weird thing going on with a guy that's been alive for way longer than he should have. When when I look at the dog drawing of Yaddle, I can't. I just help. I can't help but think of the dog of like. So you're dead. <laughs> the one that just wheels around. <laughs> I say those women are whack loud enough that Miriam can hear. So she knows. Covering there's not issues. a visual, there's not, she doesn't express any sort of expression or reaction, uh, but you would just guess she's glad to hear it. <laughs> There's nothing between us, I swear. And now we need our demise. Uh, oh, I steal the bike. That's a knock on it. Let's you go. You make a mad dash for it and take off? No, <laughs> he's, he's tired. I was gonna say, there's no key. Yeah, use knock. <laughs> use knock to start the... That's... No, literally, you can joke all you want. That's what Elliot did yeah. in Spellbound 1. Yeah. Oh, shit. It unlocks. I gotta learn knock so I can use, hijack use, cars. Use knock twice to open the car door and then to hotwire the car. That must have been so fucking loud in the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> it's New York. Everything's loud. I guess. They probably just thought it was, like, gang violence. <laughs> Oh my well, it was God. like it was in like a shady ass part of New York where like the streets weren't so. Yeah, gang violence. <laughs> and it was like so a nice was, like, red Ferrari. <laughs> yeah, someone leaves a fucking. For They're asking for it. Yeah, okay, they deserve. It. it was bugged. No wonder it broke down. 
If you if you leave a Ferrari in the Detroit section of New York, then you deserve to have your Ferrari <laughs> stolen. Um, All right, Antonio. kind of turns to the rest of you and says, The best mansion is on the north side of the hill. We're gonna die! He says, Head there by foot. I will be there by motorcycle and I will arrive there. I will form him. Shotgun. Wait, Do you actually want to ask to ride back. on his motorcycle? Yeah, can I run back? Make a persuasion check disadvantage. Oof. I should not do this. This is the worst you are idea. Going to get, it is literally going to be the moth, Mothman succeeding. He will take you away and we'll never see you. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, my friends. I suppose it would speed things up. Alright, hop on. And you see he gets uh, on the front seat. Are you sure about this, Julian? Nope. <laughs> nope. How long is it going to take? Like, yeah. he's, not, he's not now like forcing you to do so, just if you still want to, you can. How long's the walk? It's about five minutes away. Yeah, I'm going to walk with my friends. He kind of, like, looks at you, and kind of shrugs, uh, kind of steers the motorcycle around. Back into normal form and asks for the door back. Oh, no. Very late. Uh oh <laughs> Dante's arm. Like, no, he's going to, like, wiggle out of Dante's arms type thing. Uh, okay. He, he ain't going to rip Dante's arms. I, I set him you going to wait till, they, till he drives away? Nah. <laughs> you think going to keep the surprise? He kind of gives like a quizzical look as you do this, but doesn't seem too startled actually. And then just he, he just like... kind of peels out over the sidewalk onto the street, Meow. and then kind of revs the motorcycle and uh, just takes off. All right. I'm gonna like hold the door above me and Elliot. Time oh, to yeah. follow the man. Uh, like who's putting his bone on the back door to keep dry. I give you a very oh, uncomfortable can, look. Can you put one in my mouth and light me up, boy? Burn? Boy? Well, Julian, not a burn. looks like we're in another weird scrape. <laughs> feels like and just yesterday. It, feels like just yesterday we were getting the shit kicked out of us by skeletons. Oh, man. Now here we are in some backwards-ass Oregon town. I've never been to Oregon. This... this is why we shouldn't have left the school. I told you. Like, I swear to God. Elliot kind of steps in front of me and says, Oh, so. <laughs> Wait, you going to blame Elliot? Cut out halfway. Yeah. Cut out halfway taking what Elliot said. Yeah. He says, Oh, so it's my fault. No. No. Like he's being yes. a butthole. Nah. No, but an unfortunate. Side effect. Symptom. I mean, yes, but, Frankly. you know, like, some bad's happening here, and, like, I'm run over and slap Gale. <laughs> just slap one of them. Just slap the Twinkie out of his hand. hand. <laughs> God damn it, Gale. Because <laughs> just... Gale's making the classic crinkle. Yeah, like the, the, I've got a bag of chips here, let's Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. But... I'm gonna have to edit that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's alright. Look, something bad's happening here. Better we're here to figure it out or, you know, get killed by the devil than... The devil. You know, it's like... The chance of this is the Mothman doing some weird shit. I mean, there's a chance that the Mothman and the devil fight and they just kill each other. Deathman and the Mothman can make them fight each other. Mothman yeah. can't beat the devil. He's literally the worst. But that doesn't matter. Well, you never know. We don't know. actually know how strong the Moth Man is. The Man of Moth vs. Devil. We don't know how strong the start Devil is. Well, I mean, we got an idea. He killed two teachers with his mind. <laughs> That's yeah. pretty strong. Um, and we did ward him off, so we can't be that strong. We didn't ward Maybe him off. He, he ran away. He kind of well, walked still, off. He like, got, he got pissed and left. Shit. Yeah. Well, still, we we were, we were strong enough to at least annoy him. 
I feel so, like if an ant bites you, it's not going to be able to kill you. It's just well, irritating. at least we have a point of reference. Is what I'm trying. To do. I don't know. Either way, we're in like Oregon. Unless you're going to wait for another taxi, I'm just going to go with the floor. Yeah. I mean, maybe we can ask the te- uh, the mayor for a way out. Back to school. I mean, we just need to fix our car. Well, However, we yeah. get back to that. Then why didn't we ask at the store? <laughs> That's a Walmart, man. It's 3 a.m. I'm gonna go. I'm walking. Easy come, easy go. Like I lean against Miriam and walk. Easy come, Followed. easy go. Exactly. As you kind of lean in, her, she kind of like looks startled. As you kind of just like lean over, and then she kind of puts an arm around you, and uh, the two. You just yeah, this walk is off. this is still before you two are in an actual. <laughs> We're still good friends. You know, she yeah. she accepts it. She's cool with it. We like totally like laid on each other's laps and stuff in the couch in the dorm room. I haven't already, yeah. Yeah. Jeez. Wait, is it uh, still raining? Oh, it's oh, still yeah. raining. You know, if it wasn't yeah. Mary, it would, it would be Dante. So. No, I'm rotating the wrong thing right now. <laughs> I want to rotate Yurtle and the door instead of just the door. Hope this rain clears up soon. It's never going. <laughs> he looks up knowing very well. <laughs> it will never clear up. That's when the camera pans away and like the... Yeah. Uh, credit stuff starts rolling. Credits yeah. start to roll. The intro credits, yeah. yeah. The title drop. Yeah, the title. Spellbound and the Curse of Strahd. 80s edition. <laughs> it's like the 20s <laughs> and the 2020s. Danger Zone starts playing. <laughs> Danger Zone. <laughs> yeah, Danger Zone is playing like lasers come across the screen and spell out. Spellbound yeah. and the Curse of Strahd. There's like a, like a, like a like red really laser. Retro. <laughs> oh, Welcome to the Danger Zone. Like Strahd is one of those like vaporwave cars. Strahd's really good at driving a jet for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is in the military. <laughs> he's a general, not a <laughs> fighter pilot. <laughs> you don't know what he does in his spare time. Not only do you not know what he does in his spare time, but also Dante. Um, mm-hmm. It's uh, you do know from like the kind of historical event. It's not like a huge deal, but it's like a pretty big deal about what he actually like, literally did. Mm-hmm. Uh, so even though he's a general, he's seen a shit ton of actual combat. Yeah. You don't know much else besides that because you're not like a huge I, I just, history buff. You just like know at least that much. I I just imagine like later in the campaign, like fucking Strahd hopping into a fucking fighter jet and like gunning us down. <laughs> we can we're gonna have to commandeer our own gunner jet. We're gonna build our own. You'll hop, hop in a fucking carrier jet. It, it's just yeah, a dragon yeah. fight, but fucking. <laughs> Do we still have our brooms? That could have been oh, an uncommon item you chose. Oh, uh, right, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I get season two and this mixed up a bit in my mind. Uh, I was gonna say, like, why don't we just ride our brooms to that place? <laughs> but, yeah, just yeah. like get out. Of, I didn't. I I never bought one. Yeah, I no, never had boys, one. So uh, we lost them on we, like the we, battle we with behind. the skeletons. They fell down into the abyss. So a dark and large silhouette starts to form. As you make your way up the hill in the north of Rovia Village. Hey. As you do pass by this large church, you see this sort of on like the outskirts of the town with this enormous graveyard behind it. And you see hundreds and hundreds upon graves stacked out in this huge field. And you see that there's a fence behind the church that kind of boxes in the graveyard. And the graveyard goes out for about like 800 feet past the fence. Like, there was a small graveyard, and then so many people died, they had to make it bigger. Jesus. Um, And they didn't bother rebuilding the fence. (laughs) Um, Nice. Epic. You see, past that, this large, looming silhouette becomes uh, 
this enormous house, completely obscured and covered by the fog as you all kind of make your way up the hill toward And you see past it, further and further north up the hill, you see an even bigger shape that you never saw because it blended so perfectly in with the black sky. But now with the moon kind of fully rising above, you all see this... The only thing they really call it is a castle. You see a castle sort of on the horizon, rising out of this hill, this enormous, monstrous building far, far off to the north. And you see that this huge, ominous shadow is just like a tiny little brother of an even bigger shadow, just way off in the distance. As you sort of make your way through the street up to this little sidewalk, uh, to a, like a gravel road that becomes this paved walkway up to the actual mansion itself. Do you all do? I don't remember... Uh there being any fucking castles in Oregon, do I? <laughs> make a make a history check. That's that's not like a normal thing for I don't middle think... of butt fuck nowhere Oregon, right? <laughs> there <laughs> should not be a castle in Oregon. <laughs> you're pretty sh- you're like you think about it, you stop, you kinda like scratch your head looking up. There's like a ninety eight percent chance there shouldn't be any castles you're, in Oregon. Your boys piecing it together. I kinda what? walk up to Julian and I'm like, hey Julian, I know you're from Europe, but there shouldn't be any fucking castles here. There's a lot of castles where I come from. I, I mean <laughs> where Oregon is. My caretaker said that the mail I got that was for Spencer's was some person in a castle wanting to deal with me. Uh actually Dante, make a nature check for me. A nature check, okay. Elliot's gonna make one as well. Oh, can I make one? Oh, these fucking great. You, oh. <laughs> Elliot doesn't give a shit. Uh, Dante, you also think that although a lot of things aren't adding up, the region itself kind of is. You think that this at least is what Oregon is like. The mist is a bit weird. Uh, sort of. It shouldn't really be this foggy. Maybe it's just kind of the day it is, but like the the topography, the geography, the like the flora and fauna, everything is kind of like where you imagine Oregon would be like. Hmm. Like imagine back to like one of those presentations you had to host, and like your the place you had to do it on was Oregon, so you like know shit tons about Oregon. It's like this yeah, do in the Oregon presentation. Expert. Yeah, like <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like you you've seen shit like Gravity Falls. <laughs> yeah, like, everything happens in Oregon for some reason. Like, no, like, fucking, think about all the random shit that happens that's weird and wacky in Oregon. Gravity Falls, uh, Twin Pines, or whatever the fuck it's called. This, now. Everything weird happens in fucking Oregon. Everything's coming together. It's all making it's sense. All words, words. Words. Ah. We're in, we're in an episode of the X-File. Of uh, also, like, yeah, like, alpine trees and... <laughs> Uh, Did you actually say that in character? Still yes. Coldness. Uh, actually, fun fact, Gravity Falls would not exist in this universe. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Wow. This is a sad fact. What the fuck, oh. bro? Just I'm out. Normal I'm out. Find a replacement. Yeah, normal. Well, I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing aliens don't fucking exist. Well. Because well, aliens are... For Spellbound 2. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh Fuck. no! Can I roll for intelligence on al- <laughs> knowledge on aliens? We go back to no. your house and you just have like Since an my, alien my dad is a general in the military, do I know any any inside <laughs> secrets about Area Fifty One or? Anything? Nah, not like that. Not yet. Ah, uh, have I seen Area Fifty? <gasps> Maybe from like outside. Like I'll take your son to work day. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Does my dad actually work in Area Fifty? Oh no. Nah, but he might have been there. I don't know. We'll say it's not canon for right now, but... <laughs> but this is hilarious. In case it comes up later. Uh, fuck. For right now, uh, either it's true or you just tell people it's true. Okay. Yeah, my dad totally goes there. <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. my dad works at Area 51. We believe I've seen your father aliens. Is general, though. He is. He's very high up the chain. My, my dad works for Microsoft. He's <laughs> yeah. gonna get banned. <laughs> all right, shit. My, Do we see any like motorbike tracks at all? Uh, not here, but further up in the driveway, you saw it kind of lead off to uh, the garage, sort of off to the right. right of the house. 
Shit, so... First of all, let's not, like, just... Trust this guy. Like, everyone just seems weird around here. I point, I point at my armor. Uh, yeah, this ain't um, To be honest, I don't kind of want to be here. It's just you guys want to be here, and I didn't want to be by myself in a tavern. Probably a um, good idea. Miriam says to you, Julian, if we're going to talk to him, we should try to ask for things. And we should come up with like a plan for what to ask about. Well, for one, a way home. She she points at you like and kind of nods at that. All right. So what do we what do we want to know? Way home. Where are we? Uh, who's strong? Oh, my dad's a three-star general. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's really fucking high up. Any other things we want to know, guys? Ah, uh, um... Wait, um... You might want to ask uh, their connection with the inter- What's up with the crying lady and you taking her daughter? No, uh, that was the devil. Yeah, this isn't- <laughs> this isn't straw. This is just the man. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like oh, the question. This is just ask. a guy. Yeah, I point short, up at the biggest short, silhouette, yeah, and I'm like, "That's." Episode. I'm pretty sure that's Strahd's place. Yeah, the bigger one. Yeah, the bigger one. Oh well, fair enough. All right. Well, I mean, we could. We could. There's the the night is still young. It, it is not. The night is late. Let's not go to Strahd. I showed up past the clicky gale and knock on the door. Yeah, <laughs> see, seems legit. I need to figure out which screen my mouse on. A little, little bit behind him. Yeah. Try to square myself up a little, yeah. even though I don't have the shoulders to square. Oh, just move. Um, door down. So walk up, you give, you give like a, there's these big, like, metal knockers. Oh, I, on I, the door. I, I bang a lane. <laughs> make a strength check. A when a, when a he bangs, a I use minor illusion to make it sound louder. Oh. Oh. I use press the digitation on it, it. It needed that. To sound louder. Oh, the double loud. There's this big thundering boom. boom. Uh, the the boys have arrived. <laughs> and, uh, after a couple minutes, you don't hear anything. But then all of a sudden, the door just swings open. Yeah, I was about to say, can I make like a, a doorbell sound? <laughs> Bing, bong, bong. <laughs> Ding dong, the witch is dead. Witch or witch? I trust no door open on itself. I do, I walk in. Okay. If he walks in, I'll walk in, but with my long sword at the ready in my other hand. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, so, Dante, you walk Just in first. To sleep. Mm -hmm. Is there a walk in part of the map? Or... Ah, there we go. And you see, uh, sort of almost hiding behind the door. Not like in posture, but just in where she's standing. Uh, uh, this, uh, sort of wearing, like, this very, like, stereotyped maid's outfit. Hmm. Ooh. Mm. She's sort of got, like, the little, uh, thing on her head, like, head doily, uh, little crown. She's got on sort of this black corset and this white sort of frilly skirt. Um, and she seemed like, you did not notice her open the door because of how well she just kind of, like, blended into the darkness of the room. In this little like entryway here. Mm hmm. Uh, but uh, as you walk in, she says, uh, "Hello." Hey, uh, we were invited here by the. It was the sheriff, right? It was like the. I push in as well. What was going um. On? Yeah. The but, mayor's brother. Me, uh, I don't know where I'm going to put my. You are the visitors. So... Yeah. Come in. I mean, yeah, it'll try she kind of gestures at all of you. Um, anyway. we can't go through the going. blackness, Michael. And she kind of, she kind of like uh, lifts. Uh, she kind of takes her skirt in either hand. She kind of like walks down the stairs very hurriedly in his little heels. Oh, he escaped in. Oh, it's a big room. Big place. <gasps> big and then what if you get the door? Wait, the which door? He points to the front door. 
Oh, right. Well, we came in. Yeah, well, which Julian. door? Yeah. Well, we maybe the door. door. She I don't know, there's the door, door right next to me. Lift his door up. Yeah, I, I may chant the door. Somebody close the door. Yeah, I do. Alright. My magic hand. Um, she says, uh, dinner is not fully ready yet. Uh, when it is, uh, the master would like to join you in the dining room. Dinner's not ready, it's nearly 4 a.m. Yeah. She says, when the master has guests over, he likes to eat. She kind of shrugs. Um, and, yeah. uh, she, uh, walks forward, kind of, like, starts going this way, and then kind of stops. She says, would you rather wait in the adjoining room or the billiard room? Uh, and knowing what I know about Billiards Room, there's games in there, right? Billiards is a game, yes. That one. <laughs> I don't know what either uh, of those one? words mean. The Billiards Room. Oh, uh, and she kind of takes you over to this door, and she sort of swings it open. <laughs> oh. I suppose we're going this way. Aw, yeah. Billiards. It's like the Clue Mansion. I will come along to get you shortly. Does Clue exist? Is that a thing? Yeah, sure, Clue, <laughs> Clue exists. Tim Curry exists, definitely. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> ah. Is, like, Colonel Mustard, like, a... Like a dwarf or something? <laughs> yeah, Colonel Mustard's a dwarf, Miss Scarlet's an elf, yada yada, it goes on. Um, <laughs> We're coming back to this. This is a plot point that I demand comes up later. We need to play Clue in d, &D. We need to play Clue in... <laughs> Playing a bit of, bit of Ludo. Uh, the maid kind of ushers you all in, and then she uh, closes the door behind you, Yertle. Uh... Oh, she rips a window off the wall. Um, <laughs> the brute force. Loud crash. And you can hear footsteps as she kind of walks away. Oh, there's a grand. Uh, I'd like Leku and Gale to make perception checks because they're closest to the. Nice. Come on, you two. You need to do good. <clears throat> one of you did good. The other one did kind of. Gale, good. you <laughs> hear a soft click issue from the door. She locked us in. Bye. Uh, Dante, you see there is <clears throat> everything one needs in here to play billiards. Oh, cool. Uh, you see an old gramophone, and there's one of those like stained glass lamps kind of hanging over the pool table. Oh hell yeah, this is uh, great. You see there's a bar in here that has like stocked with wine, and you see Elliot kind of like police car slides over the bar and like gets behind there. You're Julian, crazy. you see there's this giant buck's head mounted on the wall. It's alive and it's crying. It's pretty sure. Are there any windows? Uh, there are, uh, sort of along this side of the house, there are windows. You what? Excuse me? Sorry, can you say that again? Oh, uh, Gale, it is locked. Ah, boy. Laser light shit. I've been clicking up, fixes it. No. <laughs> yeah, no. No. Uh, I know. I, I look at this. The uh, give it swans a pull. <laughs> it's connected to the wall. Secret entrance. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> You're trying to rip it out of the wall. I just, I just give it a little bit, of sh a little bit of shimmy. Both of its antlers and little tongue. Yeah. Uh, it's like a lever. Ah, uh, like a, a a bookcase didn't swing out or. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky like goes and examines the table. Big disappoint. Very big disappoint. Uh. Lucky like grabs one of the balls on the tables and just rolls it into the hole. Yeah, let's That's not how you play the game. <laughs> the door down on the bar and then curl into his shell whilst leaning against the wall. I can't just use my one arm as a pillow and lay on it on the table.
Yeah, Miriam kind of starts like scratching your back as you do that. Oh. Uh, Aww. <clears throat> actually uh, made my Dante, back you tingle. Holy very, crap. very old, like very fifties, uh, sort of vinyl records, smoking mm -hmm. box. And there's a big old fashioned gramophone right there. Uh, is there any like uh, what what kind of songs? And the Lizzie is just possession mode locked up in the top right corner, top left corner of the room, just contorted into the corner. Uh, Dante, it's a lot of songs you don't recognize. There's lots of swing songs in there oh, and yeah. like 30s jazz. Oh, hell yeah. Put that don't shit on. Don't recognize it, but put it on. Yeah, buddy. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. That's not 30s jazz. What's that one about the X Man? That was a good jazz song. Right. Once, once it's going, I pick up a cue. I see the cue balls over here. And Dante. As as you've been messing with the thing, I've just been lines up balls the shots in the hole. Uh, <laughs> Look, I want to not jab at us. I think the uh, the yellow one. Oh, that ain't bad. Uh, into that pocket. Uh, does anyone play against Dante? I mean, Lekus doesn't really know this game, so he's just like I messing mean, with the ball. Who actually? Wait, there's a better one. Guess I will. Oh, wait, but it will be cracked. Uh, I'm gonna go hit the the, yeah, the go red the one there, and then the, hit, use that to hit the the yellow one into the corner pocket. Can't really move balls on the table. It's a static picture. Well, you never know. Yeah, I know, but uh, uh, well, Dante, are you playing against anyone? Or just playing by yourself. I mean, I'm going. If someone wants to go too, I mean. Kale seems to be versing him. All right, I get solids. You get uh, stripes. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say Gale make a dexterity check. Dante make a proficiency dexterity check. Oh. Okay, my ass. So I need that, and then I'll just add two. <coughs> so twenty-three. Oh yeah. Uh, Gale, you're a little ashamed to admit that you get totally schooled in pool. <laughs> uh, not. You, you know the rules well enough, but it's kind of a new game to you for like over the past semester. And so Dante just cleans house as he just lands each and every one of these shots. There's well, only one he misses, but then he accidentally hits another ball in that he didn't mean to, so it still kind of oh. ended up working for him. Easy. Like he just watches the game, intrigued. He's gay. So, uh... Uh, Yurta, were you doing anything? Uh... He's in his... Wait, would he be able to bring the long blade safely into his shell? That's bobbing himself on it? He'd probably be on the outside of your shell. Okay. He'd be at least his legs in the shell examining the blade and sheath and that. Watching um, pale light glint off it and that. Um, Admiring it. Answer. Uh, did anyone else feel a bit unnerved coming into this mansion? Yes, they also locked the door behind us. If you didn't hear me state that early, I don't prove. It feels All right. <laughs> I mean, probably just want, don't want a bunch of kids running around their mansion. I um, which would be understandable, but still. If they try anything, we'll sh shoot them down. I mean, I'm not unaccustomed to the grim, but this fog is putting me at a disadvantage, and it's unnerving me. But the fog's unnerving you, Skeleton Man? Well, I mean... I like to just know what's around me, and when that is disallowed, I'm not quite comfortable, especially in small, 
rooms. Like this. Kinda, yeah. Oh, no, then open the door. It's locked. You're a wizard. I'd yeah. rather not make a very loud sound. It's the only spell I know that could do such a thing would produce. Do you want me to try to break the door down? Don't tell you a sneaky guy that you got lockpicks. Uh, no. Un uh, unfortunately, I do not have thieves. How do you so not have thieves sauce? Oh, I'm not a also... <laughs> Could be criminal. Um, I, I, I do. Actually, I forgot I was a rogue. I have to. I would <laughs> like to... Fucking rogue. I would also like to note, um, I found this earlier, and I reach into my bag and pull the pistol. <laughs> I... You pulled out a gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. You do know what that does, right? Uh, sort of? I've got ten ammunition for it. I put the other with Gale because he recommended it. We please give that to someone um, who's not going to shoot our heads off with it. I mean, yeah. it's up the grabs. I though it may be someone else's property, though, because it, it came from the crashed car. Does that make you a thief? I mean, Steal from the crashed car. It was curious, and I was investigating. Yeah, just like how we investigated the red Ferrari. That's taking evidence. Evidence? <laughs> I suppose. Tampering with evidence. Um... But I mean... He just hmm. kind of mutters finders keepers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm with him. <laughs> Yeah, like nods up that. No, clearly, clearly I'm something is wrong here, Somebody right? I mean, the like, door. things aren't adding up here. Everything's no, not adding up. We're in Oregon, but there's medieval castles from Europe here. A completely clad in black taxi man showed up with a broken down taxi. Drove us here, no questions asked. I'm pretty sure something weird's going on. I'm pretty so sure the rules no longer apply while we. Sorry. I mean, I fixed some of that taxi. But the fix is the entire issue, then, doesn't it? No. You fix the taxi, so the mysterious uh, fellow that brought so us here. No. I'm just saying, it just means the taxi wasn't as beat up as you were saying it was. <laughs> I'm gonna um, slap your turtle head back into shell. I swear to God. <laughs> like Just be happy about the happy about the little things, man. 